everyone welcome to the channel knowledge star continuous knowledge excellence my name is nisha masroor in this video we will get to know about pectin now our expert professor bohidar who is associated with national center excellence in agro nanotechnology teridaika nanotechnology center india he has 31 years of academic experience in teaching and research his area of expertise includes nano science and nanotechnology nano bio interface science soft meta science polymer physics and biophysics so to get complete information watch full video without skip pectin on the other hand is a complex hydrophilic polysaccharide it's available from plants mostly on the plant cell walls and is abundantly available and has already found applications as thickening agent stabilizers in fruit products additives in manufacturing of various beverages and other things also as drugs for treating digestion diseases and other things okay mostly this pectin is found on the peels or on the skins of various fruits the small list is given here it's not complete but you can see that for citrus fruit peels 30% of that is actually pectin hard fruits have more pectin on their skins on their peels compared to the soft fruits and this happens to be one of the precursors for extraction of pectin from the agro resources all right so now we are going to interact that our pectin we wpi which is whey protein isolate and pectin now let's look at the surface charge behavior of these two biopolymers so this information have to be gathered before you do the actual experiment we are not going to work in darkness knowledge is power and that will drive the technology okay so systematic characterization of the precursor is a must before going to make the nanomaterial so here the zeta potential of the two biopolymers is plotted as a function of ph the dark circles represent the protein it clearly shows the isoelectric point close to 4.8 4.9 something like that 4.8 <coughs> okay so below 4.8 is all positively charged whereas pectin is negatively charged throughout that is some ph dependence but it remains its polarity it doesn't change its polarity unlike what happens to the polyampolites so if you look at this red line here to the left of the red line because the molecules are oppositely charged they will bind at all ph very nicely through electrostatic interactions because they are positive and negatively charged entities and you will have complex formation and formation of nanoparticles there that is one part of the story second part of the story is what happens when the ph is more than the pi when ph is more than the pi binding still take place regardless of the fact that the net charge on the protein and the pectin are same means both are negatively charged net i'm talking about a net charge so net charge is going to be same still they will bind what is the mechanism of that binding that is called the surface selective opposite patch binding that is the actual word surface selective patch binding let's look at this picture you have this protein on the protein surface the charge distribution is not homogeneous there are certain amino acids here they carry a positive charge certain amino acids are sitting at some other location carrying a negative charge but if you do a measurement this protein will give you a net charge and net zeta potential which might be positive or negative but if you look at microscopically there is a inhomogeneous surface charge distribution on the protein okay 
so you have positively charged patches negatively charged patches positively charged patches and so on and so forth there may be hydrophobic patches also on this pectin being negatively charged throughout the entire change in negatively charged it will come close to it and the segments which are positively charged on the surface of the protein will attract the negatively charged segments of the pectin molecule they will come in close proximity to each other and they will bind through again electrostatic forces this is a local binding phenomena wait 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 are you worry about your project training dissertation internship don't think too much because nanoscience and technology consortium in short nstc is giving you a golden opportunity to do the same tasks nstc also conducts workshop on amazing topics so if you want to register in the workshop the registration link is given in the description box below or you may go to the website www.nanoschool.in where you can easily enroll in the workshops so just check it out right now and you see here this is negatively charged patch on the protein and pectin also has negatively charged everywhere so they are away from each other they will never come close to each other regardless the positive part patch next domain and the negative part segment of pectin of other side they have the possibility of binding they will bind to the protein surface so this is the mechanism of what is called the surface patch binding and electrostatic interactions again important here but these are all localized compared to the other binding which was more global in nature okay but the net result is we are still able to form a complex here all right and then we will see how nanoparticles are formed in this process so this is the exact step by step synthesis protocols so first you make a stock solution of both keep under stirring overnight make it homogeneous and optically clear mix them at a certain ratio which is 2 is to 1 in this particular example i have chosen 5% by weight of protein and 0.25% by weight of pectin so protein to pectin ratio here is 2 is to 1 which may be changed you can change it to change the size control the size okay next is this the mixture these two are mixed now ph will behind around 6 you heat it to about 90 degrees for 5 minutes or so what will happen is the protein will undergo denaturation here and after denaturation this will start forming ag aggregates of globular protein complexes globular protein complex aggregates will form so that is now the substrate on which to which the pectin will bind bind so after that you change the ph from 6 to 5.8 or 6 to 0.4 when you reduce the ph to 0.4 you have seen that the isolytic point was sitting at around 4.8 4.9 so we are less than that we are allowing strong electrostatic interactions to take over just see this picture we were at 4.8 4.9 now we are driving the ph to 4 is a very strong electrostatic domain region so there will be strong electrostatic binding between the two molecules here that's the reason we are doing acidification of the solution to allow the electrostatic interactions to take over okay so this will form the nanoparticles from there and they will be separated out from the solution and you can collect them through filtration now if you want to put a drug in it this is the stage where you put the drug where they have mixed and you have just started heating put the drug in the right concentration up there and follow the rest of the procedure as i have said in this particular example a pigment which is water soluble and the the color changes with ph anthocyanin was used 
and this was encapsulated in this protein polyelectrolyte for protein carbohydrate nanoparticle now you see after when you do the experiment see the particle size of the nanoparticle initially of course there was nothing so you start with something like 200 nanometer here then they start forming the complex when you start forming the complex the recharge neutralization and starts forming a compact structure to marginally reduce and now if when you change the ph now you have crossed to the other side of the isoelectric ph which was 4.9 so electrostatic binding global electrostatic binding has stopped now so what takes over is the localized electrostatic binding which i call the surface patch binding so they will associate through this because those are not compact structures they will tend to have much much larger size so you have 500 600 nanometer particles here so we have the choice of either stopping the experiment here where the size is about 150 nanometer 160 nanometer typically in that range or working with much larger particles which are 500 600 nanometer in size also realize that the zeta potential of the material drastically changes during the process of formation of the nanoparticle like here okay so for example this particles which are formed through the surface patch binding mechanism 500 600 nanometer they have a zeta potential of something like minus 40 millivolt minus 40 millivolt in the colloidal science is a very high zeta potential that stabilizes it fantastically low zeta potential means more on stability so anything more than plus minus 30 millivolt is treated as the stable condition for colloidal dispersion so this particles will remain in dispersed state in equilibrium for a very long time without aggregation now the size change due to the presence of anthocyanin in the nano particle when it is added before heating or after heating you can see there is marginal difference here this is size distribution particle size and this is the only nano particle so with the cargo it slightly marginally increases but the introduction of the drug to the system before or after before or after heating has minor effect on this so this is one example of a binary polymer nanoparticle that can be created through the coservation pathway so these are the typical numbers of this loading process how much loading has taken place if you add the anthocyanin before or after heating treatment then you will see the loading efficiency changing particle diameter changing and also zeta potential changing so the control is with the experimentalist he has the choice of when to introduce the nano to introduce the drug into the to the nano particle carrier and depending on the experimental conditions the loading efficiency and the particle dimension etc will change so much is in the hands of the experimentalists i hope you like the video if you want to see these type of videos please do comment we will definitely look after them thank you for more updates subscribe to our channel click the links shown on the screen to stay connected